Page three, databasing, step two, a list of who you can help and why. And the uh, page after this, page four is blank and page five is blank. So out of those 12 pages, I've given you three blank pages already. Uh, page number two is the why, we're filling that in with them. And then four and five are just getting down to their database so that they can have a quality list of people that they're getting ready to contact right away. And so starting this list is truly going to be the basis of their business. And we want to help them do this because if you just send them off to do this on their own, chances are they're not going to have a very extensive list or they're not going to do it at all. If you do this with them and get them to write down 80 names, it's going to make a big difference that first night of, uh, of that first month of their business and ask them, don't prejudge. All I want to do right now is write down as many names that pop into your head. You don't have them write it down. You just tell them to shout out the name and you write it down for them and start this list. Okay. And after about a minute and a half or two minutes, they're probably going to run out of names. And so that's when we're using the memory jogger within the more detailed blueprint or just from your head. Okay, tell me about people that, you know, parents that your, your kids go to school together or tell me uh, who your dentist is, your chiropractor. Uh, tell me who your financial advisor is, people that you went to school with, you went to high school or college, um, you know, just uh, try to get them to think out of the box. Who do you go to church with? And again, we're not asking them for anything more than a name. And if they can't get to 80 and you've gone through kind of this memory jogger, have them open up the contact list in their phone and show it to you and start scrolling down. Why didn't you tell me Aunt Nancy's name? Why didn't you tell me about Uncle Bob? You know, why aren't they important enough to share this information with? And, and this isn't a list, again, that we're immediately jumping down and, and sharing the information with them, the business or the products. All we're doing is creating a list, okay? And then down here on step three, Okay, uh, part B was don't prejudge, write down everybody. Step three is adding a second column. So we've got the name written down here on the left-hand side of the screen. On the second part, write down the why behind it. Why did they pop into your head? And this is important because it's gonna help us with the invite. So once you have that list down and you've gotten names, I would at least fill out page four with names, 40 people. I would hopefully get down here into page five. If you can go beyond that, that's even better because the bigger the database, the better for somebody's success. Because are they gonna be great at doing this right away? Are they, gonna, are they gonna be great at the invite? No, I can see people's heads shaking. No, they're not. Are they, are they probably even gonna be good at it? Probably not. They're probably gonna be pretty bad at it. You, get, you know, Kerry Williams always told us, be bad before you're good and good before you're great, but eventually you'll get there. Well, if somebody's database is only 20 people, and they share with 18 people and 18 people tell them no, are they going to be down or are they going to be up about it? They're going to be pretty down. They're going to be pretty down, right? But if their list was 80 people and they went through 20 and they still have 60 more people to talk to and they've gotten better, it's, it's not as daunting. So as many as you can get, the better. And then we're going back to this why. Okay, now I want you to tell me about these people. Okay, you wrote down Bob, you, you had me write down Amy, you had me write down Lisa. I wanna talk about the why. If you were to share this business with them today, why would it be important? So for Bob, I wrote down heart problems, okay? Let's say Bob's somebody I went to college with and everybody that I met in Bob's family over the past 20 years has had some sort of heart disease, it seems like, by the time they're 40. And that's why I thought of Bob, because I know that the science that, that like Dr. Gordon shared with me and that's written in the American Heart Association is valuable to him. He's got to hear it. Then uh, they wrote down Amy. And Amy's somebody that they, when they think of business, Amy's name comes to their head immediately. So we're writing down, she's an amazing businesswoman, or everything she touches turns to gold, something like that. We're writing down why we thought of them. Lisa. I just, you know, I love hanging out with Lisa. I love doing life with her. She's somebody I want to travel the world with. And then there's going to be some people, you guys, you don't have a reason why. You just wrote down the name because it popped into your head. And, and don't worry about those people that you don't have an answer to this why yet with, because this is a relationship business and you want to get back to having that established relationship before you introduce this too. So if it takes two or three phone calls or maybe some messaging on, on Facebook to see what they're up to, ask them questions, how they're doing, what's been going on the past 20 years that you haven't talked. 
things like that. But I promise you this, if you ask enough questions, you eventually will have a reason to write in here on the why. And that's gonna be extremely beneficial to your database. And your database, you guys, it never goes away. I don't like it when somebody tells me my database is done, it's dried up, I don't have anybody else to talk to. Because here's the reality. If you treat this like a business and that you're in it for the long haul, guess what we had to do after the first year in business? We were already at Pro 7, but we had to go back and apologize to a lot of the first people that we talked to because we weren't good at it and we didn't do it right and we didn't follow the system. And so we were cleaning up some of the messes that we had created. For some of them, it just wasn't the right time in their life to hear the information. They weren't interested. Okay? But if we took them off the database and we didn't go back to them, then our database would shrink. But I want you to think of this as a living, growing document all the time that never, ever evaporates. The only time somebody comes off your database is when they come in as a distributor. Even your customers should maintain on your database and you're reaching out to them now and again and updating them on what's going on. Hey, Bob, you know, I know that we talked a year ago and you wanted nothing to do with this. I just wanted to call you up and kind of update you. There's been three studies that came out in the last 12 months. They're going to blow you away. You want to hear about them and they'll tell you yes or no. You know, it might be another 12 months before you talk to them. Or Amy, you know, I know your plate was full in July when we talked, but now the kids are back in school and, and you know, the weather's turning. I'd really like you to come to a meeting. Or Lisa, you know, you've been a customer of ours on the Essentials Pack for the last six months and you're telling everybody about this. It's crazy that you're not, you're not doing this as a business. Let's just sit down and have a cup of coffee and go over that. Or apologizing. Hey, when I first exposed this to you, I had no idea what I was doing and I really screwed it up. I want you to know what you said no to so that you have the right information to make a good choice for you. Okay, and so if we're doing those things, your database is never going away and it's only increasing. Have this with you everywhere you go. Have it with you when you go to bed at night and if somebody pops in your head as you're getting ready to go to sleep, turn over and write their name down. Or if you're, you're driving around on the weekend, keep it in, in the seat and you know when that random person pops into your head, I'm telling you, God puts people in front of us for a very specific reason and sometimes we don't know what it is. So just jot their names down and then call them up and ask them what's going on in their life, you know, that they popped into your head and you just wanted to check in with them and see what was going on. Ask lots of questions, okay? So this database, that's two, three pages of this and we're on to step three.